All right, so we're here today with my go-kart. Um, it doesn't really want to idle on its own very well. It will idle on its own, but it doesn't want to do it very well until the engine's warmed up. Um, like pretty warm, like I have to, I have to try to turn it over a whole lot of times. Turn it over means pull the string a bunch of times until it's finally warmed up. And when it does get warmed up, I have to pull the throttle a little bit just to get it completely warm. And then once it's warm, I'll idle on its own, which may be an idle adjustment issue, but there's no real idle adjustment on this carburetor that I could find. So that's what I'm left with. Uh, but here's my fueler gauges and I'm gonna be adjusting the valves today. So first thing you wanna do is I went ahead, I took these four bolts out, take off the valve cover and you can see your, your rockers. And the tappets, and it already looks like there is a. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. It already looks like there is a ridiculous amount of clearance there. So, I'm gonna be trying to solve that today. And that's on the intake, too. It shouldn't be anywhere near that tight, I don't think. So, I'm gonna be trying to fix that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the spark plug out and put a screwdriver in there so it touches the top of the piston to make sure I find TDC. Alright, now the screwdriver is in there and what you want to do is grab your string. You can see the piston is at the top of the stroke right there, but the valves are lifting. It's coming up. And there's TDC. You can see you got play in both valves. Now for the adjustment, I'm choosing to use these two fueler gauges, and that's because the exhaust one is this one, if I can get it out of there. It says 11 to 13 thousandths. So the kind of smoothened looking machine part where the numbers are actually on is 13 thousandths. And the 11 thousandths one is the more rough kind of, where's that, it's, it's the part that's on the tip, more darkened area, and if it, it can slip over that and then not go over 13 thousandths, then, I mean without significant force, then it's correct. So first thing you want to do is know that this is the locking nut for the adjustment, and this is where you adjust it. So it'll focus, it's really dark there. And that is where you adjust it. So you want to find a wrench that fits on there. And this is the intake side right now. I'm using 7 16 It's not the right size, I'll say that, because there's quite a bit of slop there, but it's not super tight. I'd recommend getting the right size wrench, but then you just want to break it loose. So now it's loose. And you want to do all this when the engine is cold, by the way. I didn't mention that at the beginning. Because the engine is hot, the metal expands and you get tighter clearances. Or the clearances appear to be tighter. I mean, they will be tighter. They don't appear to be, but it's not the correct clearance setting. So now that that's loose, you want to get your feeler gauge out using for the intake side. I'm using this one. You're going to slip it under the rocker. I mean, and just look at that. I mean, there's just so much play in there. So what I'm gonna do is go get the right size Allen to turn that and tighten it down. All right, now what I've found that fits the, uh, the center loosely, I, I will add, it's not a great fit, um, but again, it's a loose fastener, it's not gonna round it, is a T27. You can do that with Allens, but if you try to put an allen in a torx, obviously that won't work, but you can use a torx on some allen heads. But what you want to do is tighten this down a little bit to where it's going to grab the fuel gauge. Or, I mean, you don't have to, but I'm having to do that because I have no way of holding everything at once. And that actually feel, I tighten it down, actually feels pretty good because it's it's right at seven. 
Seven is what it's sitting on right now. And then if I push, it's really hard, but it'll go to the 9,000s. So I think it's at 8,000s right now. I guess it's also now. That was still pushing against the rocker, I guess. Um, this is actually a lot. Yeah, it can go down a little bit more. But I can hold it in place right there. And just kind of feel in the ratchet when I begin to get resistance. And there's a pretty heavy drag all the way along that, so I'm going to loosen it. And that actually feels good. I can feel a drag. I'm going to go a little bit looser. But I can feel, and that's too loose, but you can feel a drag and then a bump against the 9000s because you're having to force it. So I think just a little bit tighter than that, and this one will be set. And now this side is adjusted. You get the feeler gauge in there. And one thing I also noticed is, I mean, if you start putting too much force in a, a car valve springs, it's not crazy heavy duty, but you can actually see a little bit. It's at the seven thousandths. There's no spring movement, but if you have to force it. You can see the spring compress a bit, and that's not really what you want to see if you're having to force it that much and the spring is always compressing. If it's having to compress past what it's compressed whenever it's past its adjustment, then that's normal. But if it's on the low end, then you definitely want to loosen it. So now that that's adjusted. You want to be sure to tighten your lock nut back. I already did that, so you won't see me tightening it, but just got to show you to do. Now everything's tightened back up and the spark plugs in. Now this is ready to start. Now before it was never really able to start up when cold. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. Now before I pulled it, it literally did run for about five seconds, but I made it idling much better, especially for a cold start. It is definitely more responsive, that's for sure. I mean, I used a lot on the go before there was a bit of a hesitation, but now it's a lot better. I don't even know if you can hear me right now, but... I thought I'd share it. watching go ahead and leave a like to help you out or if you enjoyed the video let me know what you think we're dropping